Okay, Professor Harshman here, and I'm going to go over the supply list that I have up on ELC that you're going to need for the relief class this semester. You have um, a small kit that you're going to buy directly from Speedball, and they're giving you 30% off, so that's great. You will order directly through them, and they will send it to you. Um, so the first thing you're going to get is an linoleum cutter set. It is... Um, We'll have the handle, and then the way this works is as you open up the back, the blades will come out. And there are several blades in here, and to use it, you would take whichever one you want to use. And you look at the end of the blade, I don't know if you can see it, um, if it what I call a U gouge, the blade is shaped like a U. There is, so there's a couple of U-gouges in here. One is, this one is kind of small. This one's a little bigger, so they'll make different marks. And then there's V-gouges. There's a couple different V-gouges. And then there's one here that's sort of kind of like a square gouge. But you pick whichever one you're gonna be using and you unscrew the top. And you can see there's a rounded edge on the other side. And you unscrew it until you can kind of fit that round side. Let's see if I can do this here. Whoops. Has to sort of fit down into the handle. And then once you get that down in there, you just tighten it up. And then you would store, you know, the blades you're not using in the handle. And then this is what you would use for carving. Um, in the video where I actually show you carving, I'm using some different tools that I use other than this speedball set. This is a good beginner set. Um, the one, and then when you want to change your blades, you just unscrew it. You're going to have to jimmy it out. Oops. This one's a little tight since I haven't used it before. So that'll come out and then you can store it back in here. The one thing about these speedball sets is when the blades get dull, they're really difficult to sharpen, so you just buy new blades. You just replace the blades, okay? So that is gonna come in the set. Um, nine by 12, six pieces of nine by 12 um, unmounted linoleum. This is a small piece, just as an example, and li unmounted linoleum comes in uh, this brown. You may get some gray or gray, battleship gray, and you can see that it's, it's thin and it's got this burlap back. Um, linoleum also comes mounted to a piece of wood. We don't need that for this class. This is cheaper, it's lighter, and we're not printing where we need something to be what's called type high. So we'll get unmounted linoleum. You'll get six pieces of that. You will be getting, although don't be concerned when you get it that it says fabric, speedball fabric um, block printing ink. This, it works on fabric and it works on paper and it's an oil-based ink but it cleans up with water. Um, so you'll be getting a tube of black, magenta, white, blue, yellow, and extender base. And these you can keep at home um, so you'll have ink to work with at home. You'll also be getting a Baron, Speedball Baron. It's a little pricier, but since we're going to be mostly doing all hand printing, it's really worth it to get this Baron, and this takes the place of a press. So we'll be using this to print our, to make our prints. You will also be getting uh, one Speedball four inch soft rubber brayer. And this is what we'll be using to uh, apply the ink to our blocks. Um, it's nice if you can get a couple of these when we start doing multi-blocks, but not necessary. You just have to clean this one in between uses. So you'll be getting um, the brayer, and then you'll be getting a palette knife. It might not look exactly like this, but you'll be getting a knife to mix inks. So that will all come from Speedball. Um, I'm just telling you, I just put some optional carving tools on your list because if you really get into relief printmaking, which I hope you do, you may want to move up from the speedball set to one where you can sharpen the blades. 
The one I like the best is a Japanese set from McLean's. Um, they're long wooden tools. They come four to a set. And again, there are U gouges and V gouges. And you can actually cut these down to fit into your hand. I've just never cut mine down. Um, and they um, have a higher quality metal in them and they can be resharpened. So that's why I like um, this Japanese set. Another set which is a little more affordable when you move up from the Speedball is a Power Grip set. And again, this set comes with uh, two U gouges, slightly smaller one, a bigger one, a V gouge, and these sort of chisel-like tools for removing material. So these are alternates. I would start with the Speedball set, but if you do a lot of relief printmaking, um, you may want to move up um, in grade of your carving tools. All right, so moving on. The other tool I like for hand printing is an etching burnisher. If you've taken etching, you would have one of these. It's got a long sort of metal and that curves up and it's kind of pointy. And I use this, and you'll see this, for hand printing because it gives me really direct pressure that I think is really important. Um, if you don't have a metal etching burnisher, you can use a wooden spoon or a metal spoon. I like the fact that I can get really specialized pressure with a burnisher. So that's what um, an etching burnisher is. You'll be getting some paper. Taikozo paper is a big sheet of paper. It's probably bigger than wouldn't even fit into this view of my camera. Um, it's a uh, Japanese paper which is nice and light and it's really good for hand printing. And also the Taikozo paper is a really good price. I think it's around $2.50 a sheet. Um, Arnhem paper is a good affordable rag paper. You could also use BFK um, instead of Arnhem, but Arnhem is a little bit cheaper. Um, so I'm suggesting you get a couple sheets of this. You may end up having to order more throughout the semester. You'll need a bag of rags at home for cleanup. You can get these at Lowe's. Um, baby wipes I like. They're also really good for cleanup. You can get that at the grocery store. Vegetable oil. I just This is vegetable oil. I just put it in a little different container. I get the cheapest vegetable oil I can or whatever you have in your kitchen. Um, although the, um, the speedball inks are clean, you can clean them up with water, I find it's easier to clean everything up using the baby wipes and vegetable oil. Um, it just cleans quicker. It's easier to clean the roller with the vegetable oil. It's faster and it's not a solvent, so it's safe. So just get some vegetable oil. You'll need what I call a scraper knife. It's one of these for when you're cleaning up your ink from your palette. Um, and you've gotten one palette knife from Speedball just for mixing ink. You may want to buy a few more of these. You can just get these very inexpensively at, um, at Lowe's. You'll need a couple push pins, just normal little push pins. Um, you can probably, you only need two of them. This is for our pin registration. So you can probably pick up a couple push pins at school. You'll probably find them out in the hallway. Um, you'll need to get a pad of newsprint and here a Sharpie and a pencil for drawing on your block. The other thing is when I am working at home that I did not put on this sheet, like when I'm working at home I have this nice glass table that I'm working on because you'll be working at home on these. Um, you may want to get, if you have a painting, a glass painting palette from a painting class or go out and buy a slightly larger piece of plexiglass. Um, so you don't have to worry about it breaking and that way you'll have a, a place to roll out and mix your inks and you protect whatever table you're working on. So, you know, about, you know, 18 by 24 would be a good size to get. You can get something smaller, but the larger size gives you more room to roll out your ink. Um, so that is what is on my list. You may need a few different in, in, um the other thing that you will need just when you cut your linoleum down, because for our first assignment you're going to cut the 9 by 12 and I have out here just my scalpel knife. If you have an X-Acto knife or a box cutter, you just need one thing to cut down the edge of your linoleum. Um, 
So if most likely you may have an exacto already, but if you don't, you need to get a box cutter or an exacto knife. So I will actually add those two things to my list. Um, so you don't forget them. I'll add the exacto and an extra piece of plexi that you can mix your inks on. Um, but those are the tools you're going to need um, for making prints at school and at home. And if you have any questions about anything, make sure you um, contact me and I'll try to answer any questions you have about any of these supplies. All right.